Hello, this is Christy. Welcome to another episode of Camtasia Tutorials. Today we will look at something very simple, manipulating the audio volume at a variable level throughout your video or your project. So I've started here with three narration pieces of uh, me speaking and I'm going to show you how you can have a background music to this narration but when the narration happens you can turn the volume down for the music so the narration is heard and then the volume comes back up and this is very easy to do over a longer clip and you don't have to use any of the included effects for audio that come with Camtasia this is all done manually but it's quite easy to do and I'm going to show you right now so Let's start. So I have three narration uh, points here. I just uh, had some example words that I'm speaking. I am saying something. Here I am saying something else. So you get the idea. And now I'm going to import a song and we will place that in the library first. This song here. And then we want to put this on the timeline drag it down here okay so here we have the song here I am saying something else so you can see that my voice is not heard very well when the music is on so let's move the voice somewhere later in the song I'm gonna drag this track this is the longer track is the music track so I'm gonna drag the top of this track to make that taller so you can see now here it, this is the waveform with the song so we will try to place the spoken words where we have a lot of music so I'm gonna just uh, scroll through and let's just move it around here somewhere it doesn't really matter um, let's pull this one here and then this one maybe around here so we now have a lot of music overlapped with narration so let's see Okay, so we want to control what happens to the music when we get to the point where we have voice. So this is very easy to do. Uh, let's zoom in a bit here so we can see now on the bottom track. Let's rename this to voice. Okay, down here double click on the name of the track and you can rename it. So this is the voice and I want the audio to be lower where I have the voice so how do you do that click on the track on the clip with the music and you can make this as tall as you like and you can see this green selected area here now this is the level of the volume for this track so what we want to do is we want to lower the volume right before the voice starts and put the volume back up at the end so the way to do that is we don't have to do anything with the cursor or anything. So um, in the point where you want the music to start becoming lower, uh, the volume, I mean, you add a double click. So you place your cursor on this green line. It highlights, as you can see it, and double click. This creates a keyframe or an inflection point or whatever you want to call it. And then click again where you want the music to be at the lowest level where the speech sort of starts so about here double click and now we want to create the point where the music goes back up we're not gonna you do anything with these right now so here it looks like i'm i'm done talking like that so i want here the music to be back to normal and i want it to start slightly before that when I'm still speaking double click so now I have four points here that I can change and now you can drag them down oh it, it seems only one at a time works that's fine so we will drag them down to about here we don't want to completely mute the song we just want it to become lower volume let's see if we've achieved what we want I am saying something 
So you can see now the music comes back up. I think it's too high still. So I'm going to pull it down a bit to about 30%. And here again, 30, 25, 30%. And I believe the music starts a bit too early to go down. So I'm going to take this node and just slide it a bit to the right. So now music starts to go down here and then it stays like that and then comes back up. This piece of uh, speech is kind of short. I am saying something. Okay, let's do the same on the other speech. Uh, let's try the longest one. So this one. This one is the third piece of speech here. It's quite long and we will do the same. So um, you can, you have, you, have the, you have the flexibility to kind of move these around any way you like. So um, don't worry about it. If you don't get the placement of the nodes right the first time, you can always adjust them. And okay, so here we have the third speech and we have a lot of music. This is my third phrase, which is... You can see you can't really understand much what it's being said. So let's try and start. Double click on the line here. Double click at the end of the speech. And then double click again inside of it, just a second in. And then double click in here again. And we will lower the inside part to about 30%. And again, the end, just slide it down. Okay, let's see what happens now. And this is my third phrase. Maybe that was a bit sudden, so it's very easy to adjust. Let's push this starting point back a bit. Let's see. And this is my third phrase, which is slightly longer, maybe about six or seven seconds. Depends how long it takes. So there you have it. This is how you manipulate the volume of the audio tracks at this distinct points where you want it to go lower or higher. And of course, if you want to move the entire interval here, so I tried to show you before, um, if you want to change an entire without moving both nodes, I believe you can drag this line. So the line between the two points pulls the um, entire audio up or down without having to select the points individually. So we would have been able to do the same here. We have the starting point, ending point, doesn't matter. I'm just, I can lower or uh, heighten the uh, volume inside. And this is good because it keeps it snapped in place. It only moves vertically. So you don't have to worry about l moving it left or right to uh, you know m miss the point where you started. So very easy, just double click here double click where the speech starts, double click about where the speech ends and double click here and then drag the line in the middle to lower the volume. Here I am saying something else which is slightly longer. And there you go. So I hope this tutorial was useful and uh, easy and uh, well explained. I sorry it's a bit long but Thank you for watching and if you enjoy my tutorials, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and share this video, like it and if uh, you have any comments, let me know. See you next time. <laughs>